morning. Thank you all for letting me come here today and take some time out with you. As you can tell, I have a weird voice, a different voice. This is what tobacco has done to me. Let me tell you how I got this beautiful voice I have. I was a cheerleader in high school, and I was considered an athlete. Well, being an athlete, I wasn't allowed to go into the designated smoking area where all my friends hung out. So what do you think I did? I would go in there and I would sneak in there. And all my friends would huddle around me. And they would hide me to keep me um, from being seen by the coaches and the teachers. You know, I never got caught. But if I had, I might not be standing here in front of you today. But my smoking really took off after I graduated from high school. It became an addiction. And you know, I didn't think it was an addiction because it was something that I simply enjoyed doing. I enjoyed it. I didn't know what addiction was. All I knew was I had to have it. I made a career out of smoking. And I tell you that because I would light one up as soon as my eyes opened in the morning. I would light one up when the phone rang. I would light one up after I finished eating. And it was the last thing I did before I closed my eyes that night. One day, on down the road, I um, found a little sore on the inside of my mouth. And um, I thought maybe I had eaten something that upset my stomach or that I had bitten the inside of my cheek. Well, on a routine dentist's appointment, the dentist thought it looked suspicious. So he did a biopsy on it. And that was kind of painful. And you all know what a biopsy is. They take a little piece of skin off the area and they send it to a pathologist. And it comes back whether or not it's cancer. Well, mine came back as cancer of the mouth. I had to go through 33 radiation treatments. It was squamous carcinoma cancer. Some of you may have heard of that kind of cancer. It shows up in the lungs and in the esophagus, on the tongue and in the 